So the first method we're going to cover here today is the spacer method. So what you want to do is you want to get spacers that are 7 eighths of an inch long. I sell some of these spacers that are 7 eighths of an inch long in the Clawbot kits, I believe. But additionally, if you don't have any 7 eighths inch spacers, you can also just use spacers that add up to be 7 eighths of an inch. So I have, I have a 3 eighths inch spacer and a half inch spacer. So what you want to do is first off, you want to wedge these in between the C channel holes. Now, this C channel you can see is bent out, so it's sliding in really easily. This isn't always going to be the case. If it's something more akin to what you have over here where the C channel is bent in, the spacer just isn't going to fit inside that gap. So you want to be able to open up that gap a bit. And it's fine if you bend the metal a little bit here because you're bending it back into place. So as you can see here, if we want to get the boxing spacer in there, we can just kind of bend that out a tiny bit. Grab our spacer, and now it will slide in there. You can see that lines up quite nicely with the holes up above. Now, if you have a brand new C channel, which is what this one is, never used on a robot before, the spacer should just slide in quite nicely and be tight enough that you can kind of slide them around without getting caught too much. 